going to see that. Okay, now he's ready to do this ceiling. He's going to go get his extension pole now. And he'll work up here on the ceiling now. We're going to... We're going to use this mini roller. You're going to use that, huh? For the behind ceiling? The, behind the refrigerator. Oh, okay. When we get over here, because you can get back here. The refrigerator might tear up the floor if I try to move it. There's no rollers on it, and I don't want to have an issue with the floor. Get over and pull it up. And the homeowners don't want me to move it, so what I'm going to do is just... Oh, yeah, look at that. So we're looking at our line here. I don't even see a line. We're looking at the line here disappear. I don't see a line. And this well, is, this you might is, see it, but it's only going, coming through the yeah. PVA. That's just the first coat. This is giving you a, a, kind of a stipple. You know, we're going to have uh, two more coats of, two coats of finish on them here. Yeah. And uh, it'll be... I'm going to just roll right over that. Like yeah, that. you can. That's, there's going to be a cover on the can. Yeah, it's, it's that's why I took the cans out. And if, and if you're getting ready to paint, painters hate to paint around stuff like yeah, that. Paint around them. Because it's way easier to just do it with a roller like this than cutting it in around all that. So that's why I didn't put all that stuff back up there. Exactly. And when it's finished painted, the lights can go up and, and be lit up here. Now you're not going to have to cut that in per se, are you? Because they're going to put, you know, they're going to end up putting crown molding on there. Exactly, but I'll roll my thinner roller and then roll it back in there. Okay. Seal it back yeah. In there away. Yeah, that makes sense. With your weenie roller. Yeah, with the smaller roller because this thick nap won't go behind uh, on the uh, cabinet top from where the yeah. uh, cabinet meat is down from the ceiling. I, I'll probably hit the cabinet, so what I'll do is just roll with a mini roller in there and mm -hmm. just get as far back as I can reach just to seal it off. Yeah. Now I'm noticing that you're going all kinds of different directions with your roller. Is that because you're just using PVA primer? Or? Yeah, exactly. And I'm trying to get it in in the texture, you know, rolling Looks it back good. and forth. Normally, uh, long strokes with a finished color and then the primer being this textured, I kind of like to go a couple different ways. Right, that makes sense. Cool. But on your finished coat, then you'll go one yeah, direction. Yeah, like this, one direction. So you don't see all these stop and go marks so that you can make sure you got proper proper yeah, coverage. Yeah, the sealer uh, going on here uh, is, is uh, covering pretty good, so we'll have a good view here of what we need to do as far as when the finish goes on. Yeah, and I think it's going to come out fine. This line here that we were looking at where the existing wall stopped, the trim was up, will disappear. Almost goes in there. Yeah, it almost does, huh? Probably if I was up on the ladder, I can see it. Well, okay. I never did like painting ceilings. It, it's kind of a different knack than doing a wall when you're doing the finish, isn't it? Yeah. Because I'm always afraid of, okay, do I have enough paint on there? Where do I stop and go? Yeah. And you're getting paint all in your face. Yeah, well, the advantage of having a good roller, too, is you're not experiencing the uh, splatter coming down in your face. Yeah, that's true, too, with the lambskin. And when you have a better roller, like a synthetic roller, it would be like, it would be like raining paint, <laughs> almost like, because uh, it, uh, grip it, again. it tends to fly off on the uh, synthetic one more uh, so. so. Yeah. yeah, we're looking pretty good here. Here, Jim, push that light back over. It's almost off. Here, the okay, there you go. It doesn't get too high on it. There you go. All right. Yeah, so I think we're coming along pretty good with the ceiling here. Yeah. And uh, this is all primer. New drug or new textured areas where the 
Yeah, so we're sealing off the whole ceiling. Yes. 